this week, three sides of the coin. Mm. What was inside of this shrink wrap? That Make it stop. Freaked the hell out of Mark when I ripped it off. Make it yeah. stop. It, it, he acted like someone just told him someone emptied his bank account. Oh, it was like ripping a Band-Aid off. This is Three Sides of the Coin, talking all things KISS. I want to rock and roll all night. You're listening to Three Sides of the Coin. So you love the show. Go to iTunes.ThreeSidesOfTheCoin.com and leave your review and rating of Three Sides of the Coin. Thanks. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Three Sides of the Coin. I'm one of your three co-hosts, and I'm in a cranky, pissy-ass mood today. Michael Brandvold, and I'm joined by Tommy Summers, Mark Cicchini. And the drummer. Uh, the drummer Firehouse. of Firehouse, Mark Cicchini. Right, still mighty. Congrats. Congrats hey, on the weekend hey, weekend hey, gigs. Man. <laughs> I don't know one of their signs. I'm proud to Love say that. Love of a lifetime. Got all five. I got about 5,000 CDs. All CD. she wrote. Rock, nah, rate, rock on, on radio. We have, we have visual proof. All right. So. Hey, that's great. That was great. Fucking Photoshop. That was really good. What Photoshop? A photo of Mark on stage drumming with Firehouse this past week. We had a couple people IM me because I, I. Are you it, serious? I'm like, what the fuck is this about? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> they're asking you if you're in the band. Suck. Fuck that shit. I don't, you know. <laughs> I'm like, they're like, no, you're. They seen picture of it. I'm like. <laughs> Which gets well. We'll talk about this. Yeah, this yeah. Show. We got we got a lot of other stuff. What happened over the week? I'm like those motherfuckers. <laughs> so so first, okay. We didn't do a show last week, guys. We apologize, but you know what? Deal with it. And I'm telling you right now up front. I already warned you once. I'm warning you again. I'm in a pissy cranky ass mood. I had the implant put in. Four hours ago, I had an implant put in, and the Novocaine literally is just wearing off right now. And I tell you right now, there's my full bottle of Vicodin sitting here nice. right in front of me. Well, you know, in, in all fairness, I did did post today. Oh, on I Facebook know you, you posted today, but I'm sure you guys like me, yeah. everyone's like, what happened? Where are you going? You know, you, you, you didn't give us an explanation. It's like, you know what? Here's my explanation. Wow, he's really <laughs> fired up today. Seriously, I mean, come on, guys. It, it, you know, we've always always told you work comes first, family comes first, all that comes first. And this was a week where we all just had crap fall on us. Yeah, we we tried doing a show. Well, we were going to, and then Wednesday flaked, and then we tried doing it later in the week, and that flaked. And, and I, we just I was I was in L.A. on Thursday and coming back on Friday, and then it was like, well, do we do it early Saturday morning? Like eleven o'clock Mark's time is like eight a.m. my time, and I'm like, I'm not getting up at fucking eight a.m. to record a show for anybody. Sorry, none <laughs> of you guys are worth me getting up that early for. <laughs> yeah, so it was done. We we're like after. Well, look, to be fair, we've only taken, well, technically one weekend. <laughs> it's been two no shows. So far. Yeah. So in reality, we made it, we might have saved everybody three hours of their life because it probably wasn't going to be very good anyway. So listen, if you want your refund, send you a self addressed stamped envelope to us and we'll refund you what you paid for that episode that you missed, which means I'll give you a return envelope back that's empty. <laughs> okay. So. What uh, what are we doing today? Well, I think it's pretty freaking obvious what we're talking about today. I mean, this is uh, Tuesday, September 12th, and you guys, like me, probably woke up with inbox IMs galore of people going, have you seen what Gene Simmons is releasing? <clears throat> the Gene Simmons box set. And, and let me just be up front and say, we are having somebody on from the box set from the label hopefully next week to get into yes. all of what was behind this um but obviously it was it was re the details and the ordering of the gene simmons vault were released today and he's got three versions of it 
and let me I just opened it up before we hit record here so I can make sure I've got the right he's got the producer experience the vault experience and the home experience at different price levels and people I mean it's an understatement to say fans are freaking out not all fans but a large number of them are freaking the F out over this and I'll just right here I'll, I'll I'll read what each one of these includes and we can discuss this and then I'm gonna put a quarter in myself before putting any Vicodin in so I'm gonna be in an extra pissy mood um, we'll talk about it so the Gene Simmons producer experience includes a first listen with Gene you and a guest will spend an intimate hour in a recording studio with Gene listening to tracks from the vault your name will appear as an executive producer on the vault you are guaranteed a low numbered vault first 500 sold a Gene photo video and autograph session Gene hand delivers your limited edition personalized vault a vault prepack signed golden ticket t-shirt download card and laminate twenty five thousand dollars you are correct in what you just heard twenty five thousand dollars per vault for the producer experience and that goes around to different cities around the country you will go to New York City and you'll sit in a studio with him and you know he goes to Los Angeles and all that other stuff then you've got the Gene Simmons vault experience a Gene meet-and-greet you and a guest will spend one on one time with Gene in your area songs and stories playback session and Q&A you and a guest will attend a intimate vault preview basically that's sort of like Gene doing an acoustic performance of songs and doing a Q&A type of thing you get a Gene photo video autograph session and and photo means you get a personal photo with Gene. This isn't um, this isn't like getting an eight by ten. This is you get your photo with Gene. Gene hand delivers your limited edition personalized vault, and you get the vault prepack, signed golden ticket, T-shirt, download card, and laminate. And just so everyone understands, the vault literally is a vault. It's a freaking safe. It's 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 not like you know, it's not like a CD tray card of bunch of songs it's a freaking vault it's a real safe i think it says 40 pounds yeah i think I um then the last one is the gene, gene simmons home experience host gene in your home you and up to 25 guests will spend an intimate two hours with gene song and stories playback session and q a in your home he does mention in the faq um, will Gene play any music at the home experience? And it says, well, if you have a acoustic guitar laying around, Gene might pick it up and noodle and play a few tunes. Um, but you're not getting a concert. You are guaranteed a low-numbered vault within the first 300, a Gene photo video autograph session, Gene hand delivers your limited edition vault, you get the vault pre-pack again, and each guest will receive an exclusive t-shirt and laminate. Oh, and I think I forgot to mention the the previous one, the vault experience where you go meet and greet, $2,000 per person. And again, he comes to a bunch of cities like a tour. Well, it's it's 2000 It's per, you and a guest. Right, you're right, right. Per purchase. Per um, purchase. He, it's like a little tour. He's going to tour the U.S. and he's going to show up somewhere, probably some... I don't know, ballroom somewhere, and you guys come and you hang out at a ballroom. That was what the vault experience was, $2,000 for you and a guest. The home experience, which I just um, outlined, he comes to your home, your home, $50,000. You're right. You heard that correct, $50,000. So you've got three options that they've, they've listed out here, two grand, 25 grand, and 50 grand. We don't know if there's going to be cheaper versions at any point in the future. You can speculate all you want, but right now this is what we know. Um, I, mean, I, I, I will, in full disclosure, say I'm not going to buy any one of these three. I have no, in, I have interest in the music and hearing these songs, but not spending that kind of money. 
Well, so like if Gene comes to your house for two hours, can you get him to like mow the yard? No, no, they they actually, if you read the FAQ, it says, will Gene clean my house? No, Gene does not clean the house. He does not do windows. <laughs> oh, okay. Because I, I, I that'd be funny to get pictures of the demon on my riding lawnmower. So, so let, let, you know, the, the home experience for 50 grand, that's essentially a hiring Gene for a private appearance slash house concert. Gene can be booked right now. Tomorrow, Mark could pick up the phone and call Gene Simmons and go, Gene, I'd like to hire you to come out and do a private appearance at my company on Saturday and sign autographs. Now, Gene may say, I don't care about your company and it doesn't matter to me, but he may say, yeah, 50 grand or whatever. His, he's going to have a fee, like every celebrity does. Mm-hmm for in a private appearance and it's typically a couple hours you book gene like you know when gene goes out and does these speaking engagements at private events they book him they hire him to come out and speak a couple hours of speaking time he gets hired to come out that's exactly what this home experience is i i i actually look at it this way you're hiring gene for a private appearance you actually get a box set as a bonus freebie is what you're getting. Well, you know what this is to me? This is to me that he's doing this again. Oh, yeah. This is this the $50,000. I, I mean, would maybe a fan or two shell that out? Who I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing it, there's a few fans that would be able but, to do that. But it's getting tongues wagging, and that's the whole point behind this. Bingo, 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 people. Here's the thing to keep in mind. You look at the cost of these experiences. The home experience for fifty grand. they don't have to produce anything more to do that than they do the regular vault experience. So if they sold one home experience for 50 grand, they made money off of it because it's just Gene's going to, that, that, that appearance fee, he flies out, he's going to stay somewhere for all we know. And remember, this is all in conjunction with a record label. I think it's Rhino and Warner brothers. So they might even be covering costs of transportation and flying them out and doing all this other stuff. This is the type of thing that you're exactly right. It's done from a PR standpoint of he wanted to do something that no other artist has ever done before. Gene is always bigger, better, and more than anybody else has ever done. And I was talking to a friend of mine who used to work at Universal Records when I was down in L.A. last week, and we were talking about this because I go, you know, here's what's rumored. I go, you, you remember when Kiss did their box set back in 2000, 2001, and the, they had three versions of the box set? Back then, that was bigger and better than most box sets by any band had ever done, and the deluxe box set was actually like a guitar case mm-hmm. with a real it, uh, with a real RIA gold album in it. I, I think also too though it's it's also when you look at the price point of two of those experiences, then everyone's like, well, well, two grand at least I can get everything. Well, you so know, that's also part of it. And 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 the the quote smarter fans out there are sitting here going gee that home experience for 50 grand i can have 25 friends why don't i get 25 kiss fans to each pitch in two grand and Mm -hmm. we've got a private gene simmons event just for the 25 of us for two hours and that's probably what will happen so i but but it's but you're, you're right, Mark. It's all about getting attention because everybody is now freaking up in arms about how greedy and how shitty and how uncaring he is. I think char- it's brilliant. I think it's, it's, it's freaking brilliant, but it's also, that's a fair fee. I mean, what do you really, anybody out there, anybody, you, you watching right now, do you think Gene Simmons should come to your house for two grand? 
do you honestly we, think that's what he should do? I think it's, I don't know, I haven't seen much of it, but I thought maybe the first thing, wave of people being upset wasn't so much of the different choices of what you can do, but the fact that the baseline price is $2,000. I think people thought that that, that uh, you know, the box set itself would be 200 you know, I, whatever 10 CD box set, I don't know what they even go for anymore, but, you know, I, I would think that that would be where a lot of the anger is being directed, but I don't know if that's true. Tommy, I, I thought that this is the mind of Gene Simmons going. Someone's going to look at the producer thing or the or the home thing and go, gee, two grand's a bargain. Yeah, <laughs> compared to 50. When, when, when actually, they should probably sell it for 200 bucks for 10 discs or whatever. That's It's funny because maybe because I'm so, because I'm certainly not jaded, but an experienced Kiss fan going, okay, that's this, this is that, this is that. Again, this is getting tongues, tongues wagging. Two grand. Well, at least I don't. At least I have to spell and spend ten, or at least I don't spend fifty. When in actuality, you're like two grand. Oh no, I sh- I'm out of my fucking mind, you know. But I, for me, for me, and and it's obvious with you know the collection and crap and the cruises and all that stuff. I gotta admit, whenever I've spent that kind of money on a kiss event i've been i've walked away happy they're really good at this stuff and i think i think that a that a gene meet and greet is going to be dynamite and i'm going to share some news that i just talked to michael and tommy about and uh, you know something to talk about today i really want to go to it and it's thing but i just saw the Detroit date january 20th and january 21st so, 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 Mark, so, Mark, basically, if push came to shove and you had Gene Simmons or Vinnie Vincent, you pick Gene Simmons over Vinnie Vincent. I am. I'm, I would rather go to a Gene Simmons. You don't want to go see the guy who saved Kiss. He you want to go see that. You want to go see the guy who nearly killed Kiss. I want to go to, if I can play my cards right. He I, wants to do both. Yeah, I do. I mean, well, we we know we know Mark plays both if, sides. If you guys look, if you guys look, there's more than Detroit that have two, two different cities, or excuse me, two different opportunities. Don't make me city. laugh. If you look at the, if you look at the, what's going on right now, there's two in Miami. But see, that's another thing. I thought to myself, well, because I, I really, I'm going to do everything I can to get down to Atlanta, and if I'm a betting man. I'm going to be there, but I got to tell you my gut reaction as soon as I, I'm going scrolling down the dates first, because let's be honest, guys, there's a lot of cities not on there. Oh, no, it's it's, it's what, so, about 12 cities across the yeah, U.S. maybe? So I, first thing my eye does is Detroit, and I'm like, yes. Then I'm like, January 20th, wah, wah. I'm like, fuck, I'm going to be in, in, in Atlanta. Then my, then my brain says, I'm like, no, you're not, idiot. You're going to go fucking go see Gene Simmons. So right now, if, if push comes to shove, it's January 20th and nothing else. I have two options. I'm either going to see Gene or I thought about flying down to Miami because I, I like the Lowe's property down there. That's like one of my vacation getaways. And that's February 3rd. So I thought maybe I'll grab the beautiful Liz for a weekend. We'll fly down go to Miami for a week for the weekend and then fly back. But here's the fucking problem with that though. Then I lug this 40 fucking thing around with me, you know, that's true. I didn't even think about that. If you go see Gene somewhere where it isn't in your home area, you got to ship that, that damn thing home and, and that's think, not going to be cheap. Mm-mm. Right now, if I'm a betting man, I'm going to be in Atlanta um, on the 20th. I because re- that's very important to me um, to to be with you two knuckleheads and the lovely Lisa, and I, I want to experience all that too. But God damn it, I hate. You know, it was just like a couple weeks ago. You know, when Gene was in Windsor, Ted was in town, Foghat was in town. There's just so much fucking going on. It was home football. It's like motherfucker. Everything you know? was great till yesterday. <laughs> So it's just like, you know, I hate when that happens in life. And, and and everybody goes through that stuff. But what's the fucking chances of that? You know what I mean? 
Vinny Vince comes out. Oh, Gene heard that you were going to the I was going to say, he did it on purpose. He did it on purpose. <laughs> yeah, the one guy backs him. <laughs> it's, you know... And, and and let me let me let me be clear here because I'm sure by the time this is done being listened to, there's people who are gonna be like, "You guys are just fucking ass kissing Gene," and you, of course, you're gonna love everything he does. Again, I'm not buying any of these these vaults. It's way neither too am expi- I. It's way I too. I, no, I, I I am, and I will also no, tell fine. you too. I will also tell you too. I mean, I I actually was able to help a little bit with it too. Uh, some some things from my collection got in in. I, it, it's great if somebody wants to buy it. I'm not going to buy it, and my reason for n- not buying it is because it's too expensive. I wouldn't spend that kind of money on it. But here's the thing, people. This is this is like, I don't know, this is capitalism. This is free market. This is welcome to America. You can release a freaking product. You can sell it for whatever you want. This is not price gouging. Good Lord, I've seen fans going, This is he's gouging the fans. This is not price gouging. This is not being shitty. This is not being greedy. This is not having any concern for your fans who put you there. This is just releasing a product that, guess what? You can buy or you don't have to buy it. End of the story. I vote with your wallet. Like I, we've always listen, talked. Listen, I'm not kissing Gene's ass because he did this. I agree. Prices are way too high. I would never buy this stuff. But if somebody like Mark or if there's somebody out there watching us right now who says, I'm going to spend 50 grand and have that house concert, go for it. If, well, yeah. And then, like, the idea of the 25 happy. fans all getting together, like you said, that's a. Two thousand dollars to have a private concert like that and get a meet and greet and all that stuff. I mean that. If that it, makes you happy and you've got the disposable income to do it, what the hell do I care? I, you know what, this goes back to when people ask me about, you know, buying stuff, and I'm like, I'm not your fucking accountant. Don't ask me. Is this a good price? I mean, say somebody wanted to buy something for a thousand dollars. Well, if they make, you know, whatever six seven grand a month. And you can do it. Yeah. I, I That always perplexes me. I but know. when people start a, about money, I'm like, dude, I don't know what you can afford. And I mean, that's not a slider or, or whatever. That That's that's no different than buying a fucking Cadillac or buying a Yugo. I was just going to I was just going to say, that. do do you do you freaking walk into, I don't know, the Maserati dealer and call them a bunch of greedy shitheads because you can't afford to buy a Maserati and you can only afford to buy a Chevy? When you walk into the airport and you're checking in at, at United and you can only fly economy, do you scream at them because you can't afford to buy first class? I mean, because you can only afford Budweiser, do you yell at Heineken? I mean, it's, it's, it, it's the, the stupidity of some of these fans and their logic is just ridiculous. And, and let me tell you, right now exactly the 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 bullshit comments that are happening around this is what we saw when we first did the meet and greet packages for kiss back in 2003 the same sort of responses oh my god a thousand dollars way to say thank you to the fans who put you there you bunch of greedy bastards you should be doing this out of the goodness of your heart no it's business it's business. what is gene what has gene always said from day one it's not music friends. It's the music business. Not there, the music there, friends. There, there's a dollar on Gene. There's a dollar figure on Gene's head, meaning how much does it cost to book Gene? To book Gene for a private event, to book Gene's band, to come out. I, I, I looked into it for the venue I, I book. I was like, I wanted to check and see if we could bring Gene's band in. They asked too much. For our small venue, it was not worth it. We couldn't spend that kind of money for doing it. But you know what? I didn't get all pissy and go, "Well, screw you, Gene. You deserve to. You 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 owe it to me as a Kiss fan to play these smaller venues. So give yourself away." No, you know what? There's a there's a value that he he's put on himself, and fifty thousand dollars. And quite frankly, I have a feeling Gene's private appearance fee is much more than fifty thousand dollars. I'm just I'm making a guess. I've never looked into a, a private appearance fee, but 
to get Gene to come to your house for two hours for 50 grand, that's, that's what an appearance fee is going to cost. I don't know... I don't know what they think. They, as in some of these fans, think this should be. Hold on. And here's where Gene's getting a bad rap. And I and, and I can tell you this from personal experience. I go on the cruise every year. Last year, I paid for the Paul thing, which was not two, but three grand, to go and see his private concert and get a guitar. What's the difference? I will tell you something. Like I said moments ago, I've never went to a KISS experience that I had to pay that kind of money for. And that's a lot of money. But I didn't walk out with a frown on my face. Walked out with a big smile on my face. And you know what? I worked my ass off. And those other people who, those other 50 or how many people did it, they worked their asses off too. And they went. It didn't break the bank. Um, for any of them, as far as I could tell, and they had the time of their lives. And that's why, you know, collectively, I, I, I'm, and I'm talking to everybody in the audience, that's why you work so hard. You know what I mean? You to, work to, hard to spend the money on what you want to be happy. Correct. And, correct. And, and I don't, so I don't, I don't, I don't Paul work was hard. gouging me. Paul said, look, if you want me, and, and I tell you what, just to, to, to give Paul some big credit, if you remember what happened at that last meet and greet on on the on the boat with the guitar he played a song that he never demoed that was written for rock and roll over so i mean he went and he said you know what these people are paying a lot of money and you get a really kick-ass guitar too then he takes his time and signs it but he's like you know what i'm not just going to get up there and play hard luck woman i'm i'm gonna perform some other stuff that not only have you never heard before you never even thought you would hear hear it you know what I mean? A demo. So again, is it a lot of money? Yes, it is. Is it? But again, too, guys, I'm 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 52. I I couldn't have afforded this when I was 22. You you know what I mean? It's, well, it's, you know the, the 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 three of us, our viewers and listeners out there, you don't bust your ass to work hard, to have some. Listen, I'll call us call it for what it is. Some idiot, stupid fan sit there over a keyboard tell you how you should spend your money and how you should feel about spending your money really go spend your money the way you want leave me the f alone i'm going to spend my money however i want you know what if i want to take my money and just fucking burn it i'll do that because it makes me smile and makes me happy and, and keep in mind too going back to the paul stanley thing because again everyone's giving gene the, the bad rap paul does the same thing and, and I said, and that's how come I, I welcome Gene and I welcome Paul doing this. It, put it this way. If, if no one's going to go, then they won't do it or they'll lower the price. But the greatest example is every year that Paul Stanley thing, which didn't start on the first cruise, it no. evolved. It's sold out every time for a reason. It really is something special. And I haven't committed to it this year yet. Because again, but I'm I'm inching towards it. I, you know, I don't have a bottomless pit of money. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't. But I had such a good time last year, and Paul made me feel real special. And, and we talked um, towards the end. It was great. And and I thought, you know what, guys, they're not going to be around that much longer. Let's be honest. And that's really the theme of this whole thing. Spend the money the way you want to and do what you think is best for your life. And don't let anybody tell you that you should feel bad about spending $50,000 to do this if that's what you want to do. If you've got it, and you can, again, knock yourself out. God bless you. Yeah, exactly. Gene, Gene doesn't owe anybody anything. Correct. You know what? Uh, I bought every Kiss record. Gene should give me the vault for free. You know that that's for all of you who think that. I mean, you're you're just you're being stupid. You're being an absolute idiot to think that way. And you here you've got the choice: either buy it or don't buy it. That's it. That's the end of it. And to and, sit and here and to... think you're voicing an opinion, you're not voicing an opinion. An opinion is to say, you know what? It's too expensive. I'm not going to buy it. 
And, and as far as the music's concerned, unfortunately, and I mean this wholeheartedly, and this is going to come up later in our discussion, the minute this thing's released, it's going to be all over YouTube and torrent sites. Well, and, 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 and to your point, so what, what is Gene selling here? He's not selling you the music. Exactly. He's selling you three experiences. The experience. He's selling you a producer experience, a meet and greet experience, and a home experience. You're buying an experience, and you just happen to get the vault set with it. That's what you're selling. When when we came up with the meet and greet packages, the platinum package, we were not selling tickets. We were selling the experience of meeting Kiss. You just happened to get a ticket with it, but it was the experience. That's what you're selling here because Gene knows damn well, as you just said, as soon as these CDs are out there, somebody's going to rip them. Somebody's going to share them. They're going to be out there for somebody to download who just wants the music. He's selling an experience while he can do it. God bless him for it. And again, it goes back to the old say, saying, you know, throw your flag up, see who salutes it, man. And, and that's what Gene's doing. You, you don't have to buy this. You don't have to like it. I, I just, I just like Michael... When I read the comments, I'm like, well, you don't even understand why you're upset. You're just up you be upset. You know, you know what? You're upset because you can't afford it. That's what it comes down to. You're upset because you want to have Gene in your house, but you can't afford it. So therefore, you're going to get all pissy and attack people and attack Gene and everything. I, I freaking want to drive a Ferrari can't afford it and i'm not gonna fucking yell at the ferrari dealership every time i drive by you know it's funny i i had this discussion <laughs> once with well when i was younger i couldn't afford zildjian symbols so i used a, a brand called camber or camber or whatever and i wanted zildjians bought it but what did i do i i started saving my money it taught me you worked yes yes because i wanted a certain sound i wanted it it's this is no different and like i said moments ago too i couldn't afford this one when i was 22 if this was happening back then i would have been bummed but i wouldn't have been upset at the guy <laughs> you know it's like fuck i just i, I, would, you know I wouldn't get mad at fans who can afford it i wouldn't attack other people i wouldn't attack it's just it's it's stupid it's really had, stupid when you when you see fans act that way. I had the same discussion with my son because I wanted to take him to the Super Bowl when the Super Bowl was in town. And I turned down tickets. When, when was the, the Detroit one? I think it was like 05. I don't even remember. It's when uh, the Steelers played anyway. Um, boy, uh, Lisa would have loved that. Jerome Bettis, the hometown boy here. Um, and I had to tell him because I was like, I think because – Number one, I found tickets, and he was all excited. And then I had to break. I'm like, I think they were like three thousand dollars each. And I'm like, I'm not spending six grand to watch a football game that we can watch at home. Right. And and I tell you, he, he was cool with it. But you know, he was younger then. You know what I mean? In 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 that age, he would have been like twelve. He was all excited. We went down there and did all the. If you guys know anything about the Super Bowl? The no matter what city it is, the week they always, before is a huge event. Awesome. And we went down there and threw the footballs and, you know, saw all the celebrities. It was a great time. And we spent like two or three days down there. And I'm and the whole time I'm just working my angles trying to find tickets. And I finally did. And, and then I just I'm like, I can't pull the trigger on that. It was just too much. Well, you know? but did, 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 too. did you yell at the NFL for being shitty and greedy no. because you couldn't afford their tickets? And, and the guy who had the tickets was a family friend. But that's what he was asking. I didn't bend his arm. It's like, okay, that's just, that's what, yeah. and he ended up getting it. Yeah, you know of I mean? course. So, so I'm like, but, and to this day, he's my friend. I didn't, hey, man. Well, it's, I think it's also important to note the fact that Gene is probably in that upper echelon of celebrity that can actually do this and pull it off. So part of this, I believe, without knowing for sure, is maybe a bit of a response of him to the current recording industry about not earning money anymore for releasing I music. I completely agree with that. So yeah. he's, he, like to Michael's point earlier, look, if you want these and you don't want to pay for it, inevitably someone's going to 
put it up on the market, download it, whatever it's going to be. Um, he knows this. And so here's a great way to curb that by pre-order, sign up everybody, earn your money off of the work you put into putting this out. And I mean, think about it. The guy's been saving demos since 1966. I, you know I mean, what? that's that in itself to me is amazing. So I'm guessing that, you know, two thousand dollars, they probably have calculated how many um, CDs or sales you would lose at two hundred dollars a pop once it goes viral and ends up on wherever YouTube or wherever you can get this stuff. So some of it's that way. And who knows? You might start to see this more often. And before you know it, Tom Petty's going to come to your front door. Oh, well, listen, this is not. There's nothing surprising about this. Selling the experience is what the music industry has gotten into. It's not selling music. Music is just the reason to sell something else. Um, you know, as a diehard Kiss fan, yeah, you want to hear the songs, but you it's a, it's about the experience now. I laugh at it. some of the fans who are even like, I would never spend this money on this. These are a bunch of songs that never got released for a reason. They're all shitty songs. It's like, You've listened to it? And how do you, how do you, how do you even know these are shitty songs? First of all, we do know for a fact, guess what's getting released, people? The Eddie Van Halen demos? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a shitty stuff. Oh, those are going to suck. Those suck. are going to suck. suck. They're I terrible. don't want to hear that. And for everybody that says it sucks, there's people who like a lot of the stuff that he's released in the mid-80s. So you can't I, say that. Hold on a second. I paid more money than two thousand dollars for a couple unreleased songs off the masters. I mean, if you really want to fucking split hairs, this there you is go. A hey, deal. Here, here's yeah, a, this here, is a bargain. Here, for here's an He's idea. Like a maybe, grand cool. Maybe three sides of the coin should buy a uh, a house experience, get twenty five fans to chip in, and we'll have Gene Simmons come on three sides of the coin. Oh, and put him at. at Mark's house if it wasn't on that weekend that would be cool yeah. I would k pitch in fly to Detroit to do a, a two hour three sites with Gene think Simmons could, think we could get think we could get 25 three sites I'd listeners so to what Simmons? other cities what other cities could we do this in because I didn't see the list yet Mark do you have that in front of you um here, I don't... I'll open it I can open it up hold on let me see here but I'd certainly have a three side party here with Gene if we could. I'm not kidding. I'd do that in a heartbeat. I know. That no, there see, we're being creative here and we're figuring out how to make this work. Let's see what cities we have for the home experience here. Come on, website. You're slow. Well, really quick, this is gonna go just like when the people thought that we were trying to sell fucking autograph sessions with us. Was fucking deep. We are not trying to do this. So before you before you see that someone oh do you see what they're doing they're they're, they're trying to get everyone to, I'm like oh, oh really oh, oh actually wait a second so the vault home experience is at a home it doesn't matter we could hold it at any home we want um oh yeah so we we could sit here and say Gene we're buying the home experience at Mark Chikini's house and it's the three of us and twenty two other three sides fans yeah and we've all chipped in. Two grand a piece. He doesn't care. Mm -mm. Not at all. Again, that's what I. Of course, would you know what we we we'd then be called the greedy bastards of I, why didn't we let the three sides fans come for free? Mark, why didn't you pay for the whole thing? Exactly. <laughs> well, we could grill him for two hours with stupid questions. It would be great. We'll get Will there. We'll have Will there to ask oh. questions. <laughs> Talk about the love gun dick. <laughs> <laughs> We could have, Vin, we could, we could have Vinny come. We're doing that again. We could do I'm it and fly Vinny it. in. Oh boy! Who set this up? Who set this up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so so I'll, I'll pitch in Vinny's. I'll pitch in Vinny's two grand if we can get him here. How's that? Oh, that would be great. <laughs> could you imagine him sitting in the fucking audience with? You? <laughs> well, we could have we could have the vault experience at the convention center the day of the Vinny Vincent thing. Look at that. <laughs> Oh. Except it's not in Atlanta. Shit. Yeah, but Michael just said he'll go anywhere. Well, he'll go to your home. Your home. Yeah. Oh, my home. Okay, so it's got to be Mark's house because of all the stuff that he has. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we could, get, hey, could we get Gene to try in one of his old costumes? It's right there. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, we can no, so I actually much, wanted to put so on like Paul's costume or something. Okay. <laughs> Let's do all kinds of stupid shit. Gene, let's eat meatloaf. Yeah, we're going to eat meatloaf. We'll have meatloaf communion. 
Ja. <lacht> I mean, come on, people. This is freaking cool. Seriously. I mean, if this was just like a box set, like you want a $70 box set. Great. Everybody go goes out, buys a box set for 70 bucks. Nobody's talking about it. There's no hype. There's no buzz. There's no anything going on. Gene releases these experiences. And to what Mark brought up at the very beginning, it's got everybody. I mean, I kid you not, all day, it's been posts everywhere about people talking about this. I even had a couple of my buddies already ask, can I be your plus one? <laughs> There you go. I don't know who I'm going to ask, though. Well, I, wouldn't you take the lovely Liz? I don't think she'll want it. She might. I don't. Okay. How about a contest? Three sides listener. They have to obviously yeah. pay their way there. Nah. That's, they have to yeah. pass Mark's security te- checks. Yeah, that's that's the issue there. That's the yeah. issue. Um, but, yeah, come on, people. I mean, this is a freaking... Everything about this vault box set sounds very cool. I yeah. really want to hear the songs. I, I want to hear demos that, and that doesn't mean they weren't, they were shitty songs because they didn't make a Kiss record. It just meant they weren't Kiss material for that record. Meaning they. Tommy, hold on. Tommy, how great are the unreleased Van Halen songs? <sighs> I, you know, how great are the unreleased cheap trick songs we have. I mean, phenomenal we, even just like the the redo of in color oh. is yeah well we we, we know my point because when people were like oh these are songs that didn't make the right you don't even get it you don't even fucking no, understand you don't you don't i mean you don't understand that it, it it hit me on the psycho circus album that you know gene we've always known gene's a big beatles fan but gene is a the influence in Gene's writing style from the Beatles is huge. And and I talked uh, to Bruce Fairburn about this when I interviewed him on the Psycho Circus. I said, you know, some of Gene's material on Psycho Circus really has a different feel to it than Kiss music. And he's like, yeah, he really wanted to show his Beatles influence more. And that came out, We Are One, you know, stuff like that was... And, and I was just, like, blown away by those songs. If there's other songs like that in Gene's demo library, holy crap, that would be amazing to hear that type of stuff. I'm not, you know, it's not like I'm looking for another, I, I don't know, burn, bitch, burn. <laughs> uh, hey, here's a great opportunity. Should we do this? Go for it. He's on the phone. Pretend he's thinking. I, I, I don't. I don't think that's true. No, I ordered that stuff a week ago, and it was supposed to include the lube. <laughs> what do you? They can't be out of stock. There's no way. Come on, man. You told me you'd send me six. Come on, I said six inches. Six extra DVDs. Six extra DVDs is a bonus thing. AdamandEve.com, right? Yeah. Mark it's, Cicchini, it, it I said, order from there all the time. I thought it said girth. <laughs> okay, I guess. <laughs> I, I don't have it today. So anyways, um, yeah, I, you know, again, vote with your wallet. And, 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 you know, there's a difference between being able to not afford it and being able to choose not to spend your money that way. You always have a choice. Because there are some people who could afford it but choose not to spend their money, and that's okay too. But don't dump on people who want to spend the money to do this. I, I you know, it, again, again you, you're, you're following, you're following the, band the band that is the promotional kings. We're hearing feedback now. Yeah. Okay. There, Mark, better. me back. I'm back. Okay. Okay. Did they find your Adam and Eve order? I remember that. That was good stuff. <laughs> that was good stuff. Uh, yeah, well, I had a side business call. So. Yeah, whatever. So hopefully next week we're going to have somebody on um, from the label to talk about the history and how this is all put together. Because this is a cool thing. And again, we're not doing this to just 
kiss Jean's ass. I mean, I came right out and said, I'm not buying this. It's too expensive. But yep, I don't give a too. crap. If if Mark wants to buy it, if somebody else wants to spend 50 grand, trust Go me. Go for it. I'm not losing any sleep, and I'm not getting stressed out, and I'm not all pissed off about it. The whole thing I tried hammering home here is enough with the Gene is a greedy bastard. His partner does the same thing. It's the difference. Listen, I, I'll, I'll come right out and say this. Mm. If three sides of the coin ever gets big enough that I can work to release a $50,000 home experience with three sides of the coin, we're going to do it. <laughs> and I will be the fucking greedy bastard. And you know what? All three of us will enjoy the $50,000 check as we cash it. Mm-hmm. So yeah. sit on that, potsy. Can we get some of the Adam and Eve girls to feed us grapes? <laughs> That's got to be in a budget somewhere. <laughs> I was right about that. I was right. Oh, God, my mouth hurts. <laughs> you know why? I, I, I tell you what, I have... Uh, yeah, I, I know why. Um, <laughs> my jaw is hurting, man. Eight yeah. hours on the boulevard. <laughs> it's a bitch. <laughs> Mike wanted, he's got to make five bucks the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> there's well, no, there's no home experience with me. There's a backseat experience. Yeah, exactly. So is there, is, is there anything else we need to talk about with the gene box set? I, unless you guys point? have any other reactions, cause this is just our reaction to. Well, there was one other thing I wanted to mention, which is kind of somewhat tied into it. As I saw an interview or post the other day, um, the front man of that band, Cradle of Filth, I don't remember the guy's name, Danny. was going on and, huh? Danny Filth. I hate him. I okay, know. well, I don't know anything about him, nor nor do I care, but it was just interesting how he, there was an article how he was saying that Gene's an idiot for trying to trademark. I saw that. The, I was like, you're a little, it's just like, you know, here's, you're, a little here's another late, re you're a little late commenting on that story. First well, of all, here's another guy that just doesn't get it. This is all about promotion. It's just like the monster book. It gets some press. That's what this whole thing's about. So for the people that are really twisted up about this, I encourage you to just stand back for a minute. And look at it from a different point of view and go, okay, well, this is actually a really brilliant marketing scheme. And we just gave you two or three ways of getting involved in this with a bunch of friends so you can have that experience as well. And I think the idea of getting 25 KISS fans together and having them come to somebody's house is a great idea. And trust me, this same marketing stuff is that you're pissed off at Gene about. Guys, the roots of that and all, that goes to McDonald's and Sears and every other fucking company you can think of. Welcome to they, America. I, yeah, no doubt. That's what I mean when I see this stuff. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I mean, it's crystal clear what it is. It, yeah. Everyone's talk. Sit back. Every time somebody's everyone's talking about it, there's a reason everyone's talking about it. Because somebody in marketing went, hmm. How do we, how do we, how do we light a fire under people yeah, and make this go viral? Right. I, I will tell you what, too. It's no different with the Vinnie Vincent thing we're doing. If, if everyone just went, oh, Vinnie Vincent's coming to Atlanta, that's it, no one talked. No, we're hyping it. it. We want it to be great. We want everyone to know we're going to shout this loud and proud from everyone everyone to come. We want everyone to have a great experience. We want you to pay to get in. It's Every, every, every time somebody makes a post that says, F those guys from three sides of the coin, they don't deserve to be at the Atlanta Kiss Expo interviewing Vinnie, we're going, cha-ching. Thank yep. you. Thank you. Please say it louder and more, more. often. Can, can, can you post that again next week? Yeah. And um, for clarification on that, there's a lot of people who've asked me a bunch of different questions, none of which can I answer at this point, although Derek did share some information with us. All of your questions will be answered over the next couple of months on a variety of issues from signatures, what he'll sign, what he won't, time frame, all of that. It's all going to get worked out. So everyone just kind of, you know, sit back and let Derek put this thing together. I'm sure he'll be announcing the venue sooner rather than just, later as he well. He posted today, Tuesday the 12th, that this coming Friday, so by the time you're watching this, it's already been announced, he's announcing the venue and the first group of special guests. There you go. Okay, see, so everything is going to happen. Sit tight, be patient. Uh -huh. It's all happening. It's only September twelfth. The expo's on January twentieth. 
right. same day as the Gene experience here in, in Detroit. Detroit. Um, all right, so are we moving on to the next topic? The next topic had made me feel like the biggest fucking asshole in the world, if that's the uh, next topic. Which well, I don't know. I don't know I, what that, that happens was. to you so often. Yeah, it could I don't be know which. which yeah, so go for it. Fill us in. I saw you flashing something when you. What did you pick up when you were waving your hand? Oh, 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 oh. So we, we could talk about that. So a huge shout out to our good buddy, Ace Fraley. Mm hmm. Good friend of the show. Um, and uh, Ken Gullick at his, Thank at, you, at his Kenny. label. Um, little care package just arrived yesterday. It had uh, each of us got this little postcard. It's got the new CD. And it's not a pyramid packaging. People were asking what's the packaging like. It's it's not the pyramid that they did on the, the previous release. Um, and then the and, – and so I told everybody um, when we first talked about this how I was supporting Ace, and Mark said he's not supporting Ace. Oh, I did. Oh, don't say it like that. Well, that's what it comes down to. You're I, not spending the money. Ace is – as I recall, Ace Fraley is not Kiss was that's your quote. True. Gene Simmons is not Kiss either. So anyway, I went out. And pre-ordered on Amazon this, the two-disc picture disc. I'm s even though Ace and his label sent it to me free. I'm keeping the pre-order. It's for you, Ace. I'm ordering a product from you, even though you just sent me the product free. I'm not going to go ahead and cancel it. Um, but here's the. There's a little download card so I can go download this little uh, photo insert and then uh, it's a really cool package it is. it's awesome the the two discs they did it right they did so yeah I mean thumbs thumbs ace fraley thumbs up on this packaging, on sending us this stuff. They even sent it to Mark, even though I'm not sure he deserved it. I am letting you know right now that I'm going to buy one, and I'm going to give it to my friend because they were nice <laughs> enough to send me one. And I'm one of those people that if something like that, I'm going to buy one. They they were nice enough to send it to me. I'm going to make sure that money. Eno enough, enough guilt and Mark will go uh, out and spend the money. I, I, well, you know what? Seriously, uh, and I'm not going to mention his name because he knows who he is. I, I've had friends of the show send me not just Kiss, but other bands before the records come out. I still go buy the records. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I was just brought up. Oh, <clears throat> fucking the kid. And he's like, that's stealing. Man, if you take it, that's wrong. So... And before people go, oh, you're the bootlegger. Hold on a second. They didn't offer the shows I filmed for sale because if they would have, I would have bought them. I was just feeding my need for what I love. I've had this discussion with Jesus. Bootlegs, bootleg. meatloaf, ketchup, doesn't matter. Look, it all feeds look, what if, Mark loves. If it was, and I tell you what, there's a reason I stopped bootlegging uh, as soon as they started the uh, uh, those instant lives. Didn't have to anymore. And I bought every freaking one of them. So before you go, oh, but getting back to this, you know, it's stealing if you just download it. It is. And um, I always make sure I go out and. Well, let's be clear. If you download it from iTunes, that's fine. You're paying the yeah. 10 bucks. Yeah. Steal yeah. Mark, yeah. What Mark means is if you're going out and downloading it from the torrents and you're not paying for it, that's stealing, stealing it. And, and, I still and, like and, going you know out. I like I'm having told... the physical copy of it. That's Dude. I still like looking at the artwork, even if it's only this big. You know, a, fr a friend of ours sent me the the new Cooper like a few days before it came out, and I went out and bought it. I mean, it, mm -hmm. it's just the right thing to do. You're, listen, I'll, I'm going to say this: you're not an Ace Frehley fan if you go out and steal his music and you don't buy it. 
If yeah, we, and, keep, and then this goes back to a lot anomaly. If you, I just just to refresh the conversation, I bought Anomaly when it came. I bought it the day it came out. I went and spent my money on it. It's a great record. Well, it's a good record. I like uh, I like Space Invader way more. But that's how come I was like you know hesitant to to get this. But I got to admit, having it in my hand and looking at it, and I'll be honest, if I was at a record show or at a record store, and I saw that on the wall. I, I would have. I, I know I would have broke down. The, the, the picture disc is just beautiful. Yeah, it is. Dying. Du- super, super cool. I so mean, take it from somebody who had originally said they weren't going to buy it. When I had the physical product in my hand, I'm like, "Fuck, this is awesome!" So go support Ace. I'm even going to buy something that I already now have, just because it's the right thing. Thumb, so, th- thumb, may- thumbs up to Ace, his record yeah. label. We didn't ask for this stuff at no, all. No, of course that, not. That was, we didn't ask at all for it. They, yeah, so thank you. I worked till far. I didn't get home till after eight last night, and I walk in. This is like you got some packages, and I, I had a couple other things, and I'm, I'm like, Ken, what the hell's this? And I'm like, no fucking way. I opened it, and I'm like, oh, this is beautiful. I could not believe how freaking cool that was to hold and look at. I'm like, God damn it. And I went on the fucking air saying I wasn't going to support it. <laughs> Don't you look like a dick. I know. <laughs> Good job, Ken. <laughs> we try and do that all the time. If nothing else, Ken, that was awesome Thank for you, that. Ken. You, you know, everybody in, in Pat and John and everybody involved mm-hmm. for thinking of yeah. us. It, yeah. it really made my day. I had a pretty kind of a crappy work day yesterday, which doesn't happen often, but it really certainly brightened my day when I got home. So thank you. That's great. Um, so, I oh, think we so, should talk so, about- so, so should we talk about the benefit show? Yeah, because that's what was making my phone blow up. I didn't get a bunch of IMs about the Gene Simmons box set. I've been getting IMs for the last two days about the um, Kiss Reunion Benefit show. Yeah, we we've been talking about this for a number of weeks. So by the time that this airs, it will be tomorrow, the next day, and it's in St. Paul at CHS Field, which is where the Saints play. That's our minor league ball club, and it. It is headlining the Gene Simmons Band, and uh, with them, uh, Cheap Trick is playing, Flip, our buddy Bren, as well as the Jayhawks, which is their quasi-local band. They've added Don Felder as a special guest, so I'm assuming he's coming in to play a couple of Eagle songs, and I'm not sure if it'll be with Cheap Trick or with Gene or whomever. And then Gene has now personally invited Ace, who has accepted, and Ace will be there as well. Um, at the time of recording, I can't tell you everything they know, but I can verify that Ace is coming out as a special guest to play specifically with Gene. And he was asked specifically by Gene. Oh, I did not know this. See, I thought it was just the Ace Fraley band is being brought in as just a support act. Say that again? I thought it was just the Ace Fraley band was added as a support act and it was just going to be Ooh. an Ace Fraley show. No, no. Even cooler. Yes. So Ace will be performing with Gene. So just to make sure everyone's clear, it's not a full set of Ace Fraley. It's Ace coming out as special guest to perform with Gene on a couple tunes. That's what I know for at now. Now we could change by this time that this is airing and and it's a Ace Fraley show too. I don't know, but right now everything is up in the air. That's the only thing I know, know for this? a fact. Because <laughs> <laughs> great face, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, come on, man. Oh, uh, because. <laughs> so so that it's going to be a really special day and but at the same time I don't want the charity part of this to get lost all right so they're doing a lot of really cool things and this is in conjunction with Matter and the Starkey Hearing Foundation and all of the proceeds from this concert will be going to benefit all of the people who have been hit in Hurricane Harvey so I wouldn't be surprised if some of the money ends up also going maybe to Florida. I don't know, but it's all, everything is being generated, is being donated to help people. And that is really important. So I'm almost positive too. some of the other things you can look forward to. I'm trying to work it out right now where we can get, again, I don't know if this is going to happen, but if I've worked the phones correctly, I've been able to acquire some uh, musical instruments and I want to see if we can get everybody on the bill to sign them. And then they can auction those off for charity. 
So you guys are hearing it here first. So if this does indeed happen, don't hold me to it. You guys will know first about being able to, um, you know, write a check and get one of those. So we'll know more about those details in the coming weeks. I just don't know how this is kind of being sorted out. But the nice thing is, is that I am the one doing all the photography for the event and bringing in a, a friend of mine or two to help me with that. So we'll also have some really cool exclusive content for three sites that no one else has. This is a freaking amazing lineup. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Seriously, the Gene Simmons band, Ace Fairly coming out and guesting, Cheap Trick set, Don Felder, Flip. Ooh, flip. I'm and not familiar. Jayhawks. I'm not familiar with the Jayhawks, but and the, the Jayhawks, Jayhawks are yeah. The Jayhawks have been around for about fifteen or twenty years. Um, they're they're similar to like Martin Zeller. They're they're kind of like a City's ninety seven. They're they're a really good band. They're just a they're more um, indie rock or that kind of thing. But they're a very good band, and they've been around for quite some time. So it's a really great lineup. And the part of the reason that they've got them as well as Flip there is, is there's that hometown feel too. You know, Flip but, is, it flips perfect for that. Well, and that's what I said to the gal that I've been dealing with, and and I gave her uh, Bryn's contact information, and boom, next thing you know, they're playing. Oh, so, so you put it together. Uh huh. Yeah, manage, absolutely. Manager so, Tommy. Bren is uh, Bren and the guys are really excited, and I don't think you'll be disappointed. So, um, you know, we want to support this as much as we can, and I'm going to do my damnedest to get some really cool exclusive content for the three sides. So, of course. This means Ace is going back to Kiss, right? I mean, that's that's everything all around when this announcement was made is further proof that Ace Frehley is joining Kiss. I mean, otherwise, why would Gene Simmons have him on the show? Didn't that happen last year when he played with someone else from the original Paul Stanley, band? I think. He, he, he actually recorded with him. Well, that's one yeah. second. But wasn't he returning in 2017? Didn't he? We're almost to the end of 2017. A couple minutes left. Yeah. I, look, all I know is that Gene's a smart guy who knows how to get promotion. We've already discussed this. So if you think about it, having Ace come in and do some songs, it's the that's first a great benefit time for the Gene charity. Gene and Ace have performed together in 16 years. Yep. Yeah. It's so a how big cool deal. is that? It's a big deal. Right. I can't, if that wasn't in the middle of the week, I'd certainly fly in. That's that's like a Wednesday or something. Though, yeah, it's it? a Wednesday. Yeah, can't can no can do. I really well, want and to. most people unfortunately won't be able to. And you know, we have mentioned it as much as we can, but just with everything that's been going on and them trying to put this whole thing together, because I think it's a really big undertaking taking to put this type of thing together. We've been limited with what we can can say as well. So. You know, a lot of folks aren't going to make it, so that's why we're going to do our best to at least give you guys, uh, our listeners, a feel for what it was like to be there that day. Tommy, do you think you're going to be able to do any Facebook Live video? Oh, God, yeah. I'm sure I can. Backstage, just... during the performance? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah, because I need, I, need, I need to get an itinerary, itinerary uh, from them and, and just get the green light that we can do those types of things, but I'm certainly going to pitch it, and I don't understand why it would be an issue. You know, and and one of the things I would like to ask each and every one of you is if you're listening to us and you're fans or or listeners of us and you support us, then do me a favor. If this type of stuff makes sense to you and you appreciate it, then do something nice in return and make a donation to the Matters organization. And I'll get you the information on how to do it. Five dollars, ten dollars, it doesn't matter. But, you know, if you're going to appreciate content and we're going to be doing this Facebook stuff and whatever – Please give to them because it's a really good charity and they need the help. And we've all been watching what's been happening uh, in Houston and now in Florida. And now with Florida getting hit, we don't want the people of Houston to be fought, you know, forgotten either. Everyone down there needs help. And we all have family and friends that have survived this. We want to help out. Amen. Yeah. There you go. Awesome job. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I can't get you guys backstage. Not you two knuckleheads, but I'm getting people going, well, dude, you know, I can't freaking do that okay so guys on, Tommy, you're gonna go to the can't show you get a vinnie vincent autograph for me can't you get me backstage to meet gene simmons can't you can't you yeah. can't you yeah you guys are gonna have to figure out your own way but they do have vip meet and greet packages which are very no, reasonable no, no, oh no no that. no that, that, that's greedy, greedy and you're, shitty of them. oh ego 
shoot. Well, they're doing it anyways. And so I believe that that gives you the ability to meet all of the bands, all the musicians that are going to be there. So there's opportunities if you want to shake a hand and get a photo to do so. But get off your asses and order the tickets and, you know. Yeah. 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 I just hope yeah. Tommy's special men's room uh, Facebook Live. Can you stay out of that? I mean, that, that got me in trouble last time. The only time I ever did that is when you shoved me into the bathroom <laughs> and then you tried to, to show me the, uh, what do they call it, the goat? <laughs> oh. oh, my God. That, that the brain and the uh, bat wing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and again. <laughs> if you've ever seen that movie, you need to see it. What, waiting. It? Waiting. Oh, yes. Um, First star. I got I got a new train car. Oh, nice. Star Child. I didn't realize they were sending this. I thought I'd gotten all the train cars, and this one showed up oh, last week. They're going to send those to you for the next three years, man. They got you. <laughs> $400 per car. Greedy <laughs> bastards. Greedy bastards. Did it come with a ball thing with like a melted head and a white and black thing on it on the round orb? <laughs> oh my god. Um oh, oh, and actually here, let me show you these things. Um good friend of mine and past guest, uh Jay Gilbert sent me a, a kiss care package a couple weeks ago. Where's mine? And uh the care package included Hey, I got one of them. The Kiss Cruise 6 exclusive LP. You know, Very cool. Oh, is yours a seal? Yeah, mine is sealed. Ours didn't come sealed on the ship, I don't Whoa. think. Whoa. Hey, Tom Whoa. Shannon, do you have this one? It's sealed. Yeah. <laughs> I f- Shy. Mark's hey, spot hey, by this. hey, hey, Open hey, it. hey. Open it. Oh, don't do that. You're, oh my God, don't. Open it, oh, open I, it, open it, oh. open it. Yes. Look at that. Oh, I bent what? the corner. I bent the corner it. trying to open it. Hold on. Let me just shove oh, a pen okay. in here. Got yeah, it. there you go. Here, here. Use mine. I keep one there nearby. <laughs> no, you never open anything. What are you talking about? Watch Look at this, him. Guys. Look at him. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like watching a car wreck. Why would you do oh, that? Oh, I put a little crease in the corner. Oh. <laughs> Drop it. <laughs> See, I, now I got to see. Oh, Ooh, cool. Yeah, mine, that's just like mine. Blood red vinyl. Awesome. No, I, still have, I still have two of those. I'll, freaking op- I'll open stuff forever just for that reaction. Yeah, that was <laughs> worth it. That was worth it. The other, the other thing I got, he sent me. Yeah, it's cool. Yes, I've got From the Kiss Expo. Nice. And it's one of these things where, you know, if you. Ugh! Wouldn't it be funny if you realized that Liz shipped you all his stuff oh, to his house Jesus. and it's not really Jay Gilbert? Oh my god. It's actually Liz sent him the, that that's yours, Mark. All right, so here's the oh, deal, no. people. Yeah. All listeners out there, 